Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. I have so many candles to talk about. I have not filmed an empties video in a hot minute, but I had some time today and it is feeling like fall. So I have a little mix of some end of summer season transition and full on fall candles to talk about. I have some skincare, hand soaps, beauty products, all that jazz. So without further ado, let's get into it. Diving into the home fragrance, I think we will start with candles. Starting off with a candle from Matt Matthews. This is Beach Body Postponed, which is Cashmere Sands. Now, Matt Matthews, I've talked about before. He does farm chores videos on TikTok and Instagram and has a non-toxic, non-caustic, soy wax made in the USA candle line. And I just adore him and his products. And he has single wick candles and three wicks. And this was in Cashmere Sands. It's just a really pretty, light, coconutty cream fragrance. I was burning this one in my bathroom just honestly to finish it up because I have all the three wicks from him and this is the only single wick I had. So sort of just wanted to clear it out of my inventory and not hang on to it for the next year. Really great. Love the way his candles perform. Speaking of the way his candles perform, I finished another one, which is Get Up. It's time to do farm chores, which is one of his original candle fragrances. And that is a picture of Winnie and Winston, his two pigs. And it is in the scent Hot Apple Pie. And this is such a great apple scent. It's creamy. It's delicious. You get that hint of a buttery, crusty pie crust. Mm, such a good fragrance. Again, his 100% soy candles burned down. Super clean. Love the way they perform. And this was just such a cute candle to have lit at night. Love the apples. Love apple pie. So it was a great candle. Now, this is one from him that struggled a little bit. It says, eat, drink, and F off. And it is in cinnamon roll. I've had this before. It is a repurchase. And I don't know if I just trimmed the wicks too short or what, but it kept self-extinguishing itself. So this is one that I think I'll pop into the candle crock or the candle lamp to get that last bit of fragrance out. I did not finish or do that with it yet, but this is a rich, rich icing forward cinnamon roll fragrance. I really, really like it. It will be a repurchase, even though this one just did not perform as well, because all of his other candles you've seen on my channel burn down completely all the way. So I'll just see what I can do with that. Not a problem. Next, we have from my friends over at 1820 Company. This is Oats and Pumpkin Chai. She does two wick, also 100% soy wax. It's actually a vegetable wax, um, but you can see it burned down all the way. Sorry, there's like cat hair. My cats are shedding like crazy. It's super, super cool out now. I have the windows open. Beautiful day. Anyway, oh, this is nice that you really get the oatmeal in here. So if you want like an oatmeal rich, like it's almost a stick to your ribs type of fragrance, it just smells comforting and really cozy with the pumpkin chai, a little bit of that rich, Cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove from the pumpkin chai. Beautiful. Who else is obsessed with the Starbucks pumpkin chais, by the way? I don't drink a ton of coffee, but their chais out of this world. And her candles perform all the way down. Beautiful. Made in Ohio. Love her fragrances. Love her candles. Next, I finished good old-fashioned flannel from Bath & Body Works. I love flannel. I have it in the laundry detergent. I have it in wallflowers. It's such a great scent. And this actually performed really well for me. Flannel is fresh bergamot, heirloom mahogany, and soft musk. It's a beautiful scent. It's rich. It's cologne -y, It's earthy. It's everything you want it to be. Although I will say it is a masculine cologne that I do really love. But it's only good for this time of year. I don't know why. It's just something I don't crave in the spring or summer. It really is that fall, winter cologne fragrance. It's beautiful. And it did perform well. And I absolutely love this jar. This actually might be one. Pop this in the candle crock. And get that last bit of scent left. Dump the excess wax. And uh, clean out the jar and recycle it for Christmas. Because I think it is a really pretty jar. So really enjoy that one. 
this guy, it just never performs for me. This is pumpkin pecan waffles from a couple years ago. It is an older candle. These are when they were $24.50. Maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Once it gets the halfway mark, you know the drill. The wicks get super puny and it dudded out. And with the pumpkin pecan waffles, it just smells burnt after the halfway point. Actually, to be honest, pumpkin pecan waffles smells burnt after the second burn. Can you see the difference? Like, look at the discoloration on the wax there. Really crazy how discolored it is. So I might pop this in the crock. I end up might just throwing this away because honestly, the performance is just rough on it. But speaking of pumpkin pecan waffles, I finished pumpkin pecan waffles type from Candles by Victoria. This, on the other hand, performed great all the way down. The second I open this jar, I can smell that pumpkin pecan waffles. It's rich, it's creamy, it's delicious. It's that sweet pumpkin, that rich, creamy waffle. Mm, heaven, heaven, heaven on earth. One of my favorite fall fragrances. It's ooey, gooey, sticky, and delicious. I finished it up. These are her 16 ounce single wick jars. I do have this in a four wick pumpkin that is just sitting on my coffee table, curing and ready to light up as soon as it's a really ice cold fall day. I'll be lighting that up and enjoying it all fall long. But this guy performs great. If you trim her wicks, she uses zinc core wicks. So they need trimmed after every burn, but they will perform clean all the way down like this. Every single one of them. Love her candles. I finished an oldie but goodie. I actually, um, one of my friends was moving and she found this and was like, I know you loved this fragrance from Harry. Do you want it? And I said, absolutely. Harvest Leaves. Now, Harvest Leaves is a classic Homeworks fragrance. It is one of the best. This was actually part of the Today's Special Value from QVC years and years ago when I used to work with Harry on doing like Facebook Lives and stuff for the Facebook group. The notes are spiced pumpkin, mandarin, cranberry, fir balsam, and applewood. This, it performed not too, too bad. This is one I might put under a lamp to just melt the rest of it because this is a unique fragrance I haven't smelled anywhere else, which is so funny because the notes are so just, not basic, but spiced pumpkin, mandarin, cranberry, fir balsam, and applewood. But the combination is just quintessential fall. Love, love, love. This is one, if I see it at TJ Maxx or Home Goods, I would pick a couple up. Melanie over at Mr. Kong's Mom did say, though, if you, like, let them sit for a year, they do get stronger. So if I see any, I might pick them up and let them sit till next year because it is a fragrance that I do adore from Homeworks. So I finished that. The next four are from Kringle. I am a Kringle ambassador. These are all still available, I believe. If you use my code DREWYOCK15, it'll save you 15% off. I finished Merlot Vines from the new Fall Collection. This is in the country line, in the medium jar. I will tell you, I am having such good luck with these country jars. I know they re-wicked and reformulated when they did the summer seasonal, like limited edition. I did not pick any of those up. But I know that they also reformulated the fall wicks, and these burned so well. Um, actually, let me show you right here. Burning Almond Butter Cookie from Country Candle. It is performing so well. The scent, though, not a fan. I will be honest. I am not a fan of the Almond Butter Cookie, but that'll be in the next empties video. Um, not a fan. This, though, really interesting. Current Grape, Rose, Berry, Wood, and Musk. This is a real woodsy berry. Like, you're definitely getting woodsy versus, like, a grape scent, which was super unique and different. I really liked the woodsiness. It truly smelled like you were at a vineyard, like, in the room where the wine was made. Like, in the wine, the winery, you know, in the winery with all the wood. But I was burning this one in one room. And California Cab in the other. Let me tell you, that combo was perfect. This is from the Reserve line. It, again, burned down completely. This, real whiny. Re real whiny. A real wine-forward fragrance. I love the combination. I don't drink alcohol, but I know what it smells like. And boy, does this smell just like a Cabernet. I know some people said it doesn't, but to me it does. It smells just like that alcoholic, 
red wine that has all the, what are they, the tannins and the grape. Like, it truly smells like this picture. Like, you're sticking your head in a glass of wine and together really was giving winery vibes, really was setting the mood for a transition from the really hot days, which we're still having hot days, to, you know, a little bit cooler. So it was really, really nice. I finished Country Candles Glazed Berry Scone. I could barely smell this, you guys, the whole entire time. It did create some soot during the last burn because I just let it self-extinguish itself. But the notes are cranberry, berry, soft spice, pastry, and sweet maple. And it's, I just, I don't know. It just wasn't for me. It was fine. It was like a rich berry bakery scent, but it wasn't blueberry, which I think threw a lot of people, especially me, off because it's, you know, it's blue. It has what looks like blueberries in the picture, but it must be cranberries. Yeah, I mean, it was nice. It smelled like a scone. It smelled like a bakery scent, but it didn't really perform that well for me. So, but I know a lot of people do like it. This, however, warm and toasty. This was phenomenal. Okay, on cold, it was nice. Cedar, smoke, sweet sugar, amber, and sugar. Wait. Cedar, smoke, sweet, marshmallow, amber, and sugar. Okay. Have you ever had your Kringles do this? It's okay. It happens. The gasket comes out. You can just pop that, honestly, right back in there, and it's good to go. Anyway... Oh my goodness. On cold, this smelled really, really good. It smelled like marshmallow fireside, like the traditional mar marshmallow fireside that a lot of people are used to, but adding a little bit of cedar wood. However, when you burned this, it just created a vibe. Now, typically with marshmallow fragrances, they're not super, super strong. I lit it for the first couple times in my living room and I could barely detect it. I'm like, okay. So the next time I burned it, I lit it in my bedroom. Game changer. This is definitely not one for an open concept. Definitely put it in a smaller space that you're going to be in for a while. It created such a vibe when I was watching TV and movies in my bedroom. It was perfect. It had that sweetness from the marshmallow, that real cozy warmth from the toastiness of the marshmallow, and then that hint of a woodsy cedar wood rounded out the fragrance. It is on my list to reorder more of. I absolutely love it. I think this one would be really great in the wax melts though, and have that going in the background with like other fragrances to give it a smoky, warm and toasty vibe. I mean, the name totally fits it. I also love the packaging, these delicious marshmallows, which is exactly how I like to eat a marshmallow, lightly toasted with what looks like a little flannel jacket or a scarf, or it actually looks just like a flannel shirt um, in the background. So really loved Warm and Toasty, and I believe this is still available. Definitely pick that up. All right, so that's it for candles. Now, as far as wax melts go, I have not a lot. I honestly have not been using my wax a lot. I haven't ordered a lot of Scentsy. I've just been working through my stash. The first one, oh, Glazed Sticky Apples from Candles by Victoria. I gotta be honest, you guys, this is the first scent from Victoria that I've ever smelled that I just don't like. The notes are like apricot, honey, apple. Like, it sounds great. I don't know. It, it is funky. It was funky. And I had the windows open that day. It was a cool, crisp day. I put this whole thing in a warmer, called it a day, worked all day, ran errands after work, came home, this was still going strong, and I instantly was like turned off by it, turned off the warmer, dumped that wax, cleaned it out, and popped something else in because it was so bad. I just did not like it. I love Victoria. I love her candles. I love her company. Not every scent's going to be for me. This smelled burnt to me. Like, I don't know. Even on cold, it smelled burnt. Something funky. It is really popular. People like it. Not to my nose. But I did love pumpkin apple cinnamon bread. This is phenomenal. This is great. This is rich, toasty bread. Like, almost like an Amish friendship bread vibe. Like a cinnamon bread. 
you get the dough, you get that crustiness from the bread, the fruitiness of the pumpkin and the fruitiness of the apple together, like ultimate fall bakery scent. Great, performed all day. I actually switched this out for this that day and it was a much better time. I finished that. I did drop the second one on the floor of this. Warm pumpkin drizzle from Scentsy. I got nothing from this. I never did. It, I, is this the one that has pineapple in it? I want to say there's pineapple in warm pumpkin drizzle. I could be wrong, but I thought there was like a pumpkin scent from Scentsy that had pineapple in it. it I got no performance. None at all. So that was disappointing. I did two bars of All You Need Is Love. I got this one from a flash sale. I love this. This is nice. This is a coconutty, creamy bakery scent. I actually did this on all my fall decor was out, but it was like 90 degrees out and I did not want to melt a fall scent, but everything was fall. I'm like, what am I going to melt? I'm like, all you need is love. It has that creamy coconut, which is giving it a summer vibe and it's lighter mixed with like this creamy cake batter almost really good. And it performed well for me. Speaking of performing well, Rose Wooden Freesia, which also is from a flash sale. I did two cubes in my laundry room, alternated in between different days, finished this up. Wow, was this good. This is good. This is strong. I did, like I said, I have a take a stand warmer in my laundry room. I did two cubes in there. I opened the door the next day. I smelled this. This is what I smelled throughout my whole entire place. This is what I kept smelling. Craziness really strong. I don't get a ton of uh, floral. And as far as like freesia goes, I get rose. I get a lot of rosewood. It's a really strong powdery floral wood fragrance. Really pretty, but you have to like floral and powdery to like it. Black tie affair. I did this one in my bedroom. I liked it. It was like a sweet smoky cologne. It reminds me of a candle that Bath and Body Works had years and years ago but I cannot put my finger on it. Has a tobacco leaf, has vanilla, amber, I think. I don't know. Really liked it. Wasn't like, you know, stock up worthy. Huckleberry and Clementine. I believe I got this in a flash sale too. This is nice. This is when I alternate it in my bathroom and my laundry room. Really like it. I love huckleberry fragrances. They just smell like a sweet berry. Well, obviously that's what a huckleberry is, a sweet berry, but it just smells nice. It smells like a nice sweet berry with a citrus. So I really, really like that. Would repurchase that if I could. I did the last petal from the Disney Beauty and the Beast collection. Also alternated in warmers. Really liked it. It was nice. It was like a sweet, rosy floral. Whipped vanilla pear. This is one that comes and goes. I like it sometimes. Sometimes I don't. When I melted it, I really didn't. It wasn't really strong. You get pear, but it's mellowed down so, so much from that honey, or honey, from vanilla. And it's almost like the bowl of whipped cream is so big, and you put like one slice of pear in the whole thing. So it has like the slightest hint of fruit, but loaded with whipped vanilla cream. It's nice. It's just you have to be in the mood for it, I think. That was it as far as fragrances go. Let's move on to like body and stuff. I finished a mahogany teakwood gel soap, working through my Bath and Body Works hand soaps. I prefer the gel formula versus the foam. Controversial opinion, I know. I do like the gels. I like mahogany teakwood. Rich mahogany, black teakwood, and dark oak made me feel like a bachelor when I used it because I feel like mahogany teakwood is like the number one men's scent. I finished, oh, love this for my kitchen fall festival from last year. One, adore the packaging and love the scent even more. This is fresh pumpkin, spiced cinnamon, and sweet maple almond butter. This is great. It's cozy. It's rich. It's comforting. I adore this scent so much. Absolutely love it. Finished this in my kitchen. Would repurchase it. I just... I'm really trying to work through my Bath and Body Works hand soaps. And honestly, it feels good. I have pumpkin apple in my kitchen now and perfect autumn in my bathroom. So 
working through them. I finished two of my favorite body creams of all time. The Beekman 1802 Whipped Body Creams. I love them. I finished the Honey and Orange Blossom. Love. If you're not familiar with Beekman, I actually visited their farm over in 2020 in Sharon Springs, New York. Love Beekman. Love everything they do. I'm a neighbor. Have been for four years now. Honey and Orange Blossom is this sweet mock orange with the sweet honey. Really, really, really pretty. And their body creams are incredible. I just actually finished this morning the Ceramide body cream. This has been retired. Um, it's an unscented cream. Not many brands can do an unscented product because it's loaded with chemicals that they have to add that scent. Not with Beekman. And this was just loaded with the Ceramides. Really love it. Lather, slather all over my body and instantly can snap my fingers. The best body cream hands down. I actually have a super size of the brown sugar pumpkin from last year coming to me that I had a friend sell me. So very excited. Let me know if you've tried Beekman. Do you like it? I'm representing the goat right now. And then I finished from the Caroline Hirons brand, the Control Acid Toner. I like this. I was experiencing a lot of breakouts over the summer, I think, because it's just been so hot. And I've been putting on so much SPF to protect my skin that I was breaking out all over. So I was using this consistently every other day because it's a very strong acid. And I was really happy with the results. I did finish it. My skin's calmed down a lot, so... I don't need to repurchase it, but I would if I needed to. Really enjoy it. I like a lot of Caroline Hirons products. Boom! And that is it. Um, was it like a month since my last empties video? However long it's been, I finished in under 30 minutes, and I think that is a record. Let me know what you guys are enjoying in September. We're finishing the first week of September. Lots more fall candles. And then we're into Halloween. I hope you guys have an incredible rest of your day. Be kind. I love you. Oh my God, I forget everything that I say. For subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye.